Shalom, 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 Yasha, that's your brother Nechamia, Ak Nechamia from Nations and Kings and Priests, no Cap Cali section. All right, we're going to get into a little quick class before I head into this plantation. All right. Now, the topic of this class is called The Most High is the Creator of All Spirits. The Most High is the Creator of All Spirits. All right, He created good spirits to do His will, He created evil spirits to do his will all right so let's get into the book of numbers chapter 27 and verse 16 real quick and it reads let yahweh the alahayim of the spirits of all flesh set a man over the congregation all right let yahweh the alahayim of the spirits of all flesh set a man over the congregation all right, so what's just letting us know in the book of Numbers, chapter 27 and verse 16, that the Most High is the creator of all spirits. He's the creator of all spirits. All right, so let's get in a few accounts real quick to show you that he, he will send forth these spirits. These spirits have to go to him and, 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 and get his permission in order to do either good things or either evil things according to each spirit the good spirit the evil spirit all right so let's go to the book of first kings real quick i think it's chapter 19 and um verse i think it's 19 starting at 19 or 21 actually i think it's verse um 19 uh no salakia chapter 22 salakia verse 19 all right, and it reads, this is the book of First Kings chapter 22 and verse 19, and it reads, And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all of the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Or on the right hand side, you got the good spirits, you know, the spirit of the Most High, the spirit of uh, Hamashiach. All right, and on, a, on his left, all right, Hashatan and his minions. All right, verse 20. And Yahweh said, who shall persuade Ahab? So the most high is, when you get it in context, when you read up a little bit, um, when you read, when you go and get context, I'm not going to do it for the sake of me having to go into this plantation in, um, in a few minutes. When you read this in context, all right, um, uh, Salakleia, Salakleia, I'm not even going to get into that that deep because I don't have too much time. All right, so the most high, the spirit, the spirit, is coming to the most high or that most high is saying Salaklia, um who's gonna go do this job we're gonna further read and see and yahweh said who shall persuade ahab he's speaking to the spirits all right that he may go up and fall at ramoth gilead and one said on this manner and another said on that manner all right Let's read verse 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. All right. So the, the, these spirits have to go to the Alahayim to get permission to do anything. You can even get that in, even even in even in um even Hashatan himself. The spiritual demon Hashatan himself has to get the okay from the Allahim, from Yahweh, our, our Heavenly Father. He has to get the he has to even get the okay. Why do you think he was able to do what he was do what, what he was able to do to Job? Alright. Verse 22. And Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. All right. So we know the most high is the creator of all spirits and the spirits have to come to them to be able to do anything at all whatsoever, either for good or for evil. All right. Either for good or for evil. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Judges, chapter 9 and verse 23. Chapter 9 and verse 23. All right. Now, in this chapter, you speak, you hear Abimelech. Abimelech was wicked. 
All right, Abimelech was a bucket. He slew all his brothers, 310 of them. It's really 311, including himself, but he slew 310 of them because he wanted to He wanted to reign. All right, he wanted to be the ruler. All right, so you can go ahead and go read, go read chapter 9 and get you some context. All right, but well, we're going to start at verse 22 real quick. This is the book of Judges, chapter 9 and verse 22. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Yahshua Allah, then Allah Hayim sent an evil spirit. So this even this even goes into before this, uh, Abimelech reigned for three years. All right. So this even let me let me get this precept real quick. This even proves in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verses nine through eleven, or just verse eleven for the emphasis. Um, we're gonna start at verse eleven, verse eleven through thirteen. It shows you that the Most High, you might do something wicked and your days may be prolonged, but that don't mean the Most High ain't finna come send that evil spirit to deal with you. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence and gets an evil work, Abimelech slaughtered 310 of his brothers, all right? Jerubel's sons, and all right? Abimelech is a son of Jerubel, who is Gideon, you know? Who is Gideon in the book of Judges, all right? Because sentence and gets an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Abimelech, the, hey, hey. It was in his heart to do evil. He slaughtered 310 of his own brothers. All right, verse 12. Though a sinner do an, ev do an a evil an hundred times and his days be prolonged, Abimelech ran for three years, yet surely I know that it shall be well with him that fear Allah Hayim, Gideon, probably the other 310 sons, excluding the, uh, uh, th the three... 311th which is uh, Abimelech which fear before him verse 13 but it shall not be well with the wicked and Abimelech got it when you go ahead and read the book of Judges ninth chapter you will see neither shall he prolong his days after that three year mark it was over which are as a shadow because he feareth not before Allah Hayim. So, so Abimelech had time to repent and he didn't take it all right, so let's go back to the book of Judges. Let's go back to the book of Judges chapter 9 because I got to get up out of here in a minute. So I'm going to speed this up. All right. Verse 23. Then Allah Hayim sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. All right. And the men of Shechem dealt tre treacherously with Abimelech. All right, Abimelech was the ruler over Shechem. When you go read Judges the ninth chapter, you will see that. Verse 24, that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubel, who was Gideon, might come and their blood be laid upon Abimelech, their brother, which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. See, the Most High sent forth an evil spirit to, 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 to this is the Most High judging, judging Abimelech according to his wickedness. He had three years from the day he slaughtered his brothers and ruled over the uh, the uh, the his uh, his bone and flesh of Shechem on according to the mother side, so called. If I remember correctly, uh, he slaughtered three hundred and ten of his brothers, and he had three years to repent. Well, he had time; he had so much time to repent, and he didn't take it. And he didn't take it. All right. So the Most High sent forth an evil spirit, as it says in verse, then Allah Hayim sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem, and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubel, who was Gideon, might come and their blood be laid upon Abimelech, their brother, which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. Verse 25. And the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains. You see, when the Most High sent forth these evil spirits, these evil spirits is crafty. That's why it says in Ephesians 6, hey, the hey, we, it's a spiritual battle that's going on. None of this is carnal. None of it is carnal. Everything that you deal with on a day-to-day -day is a spiritual battle. It's spiritual warfare. Gird up your loins. All right? And the men of Shechem shut liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them, and it was told of Bimelech. All right, and as you further read down, right, as you further start to read down, you will start to get the context and see how Abimelech got to rule. 
the consequence of him, of what he did previously before he became ruler, and then how the Most High dealt with him. All right. So with that being said, this is the book of Amos chapter three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? This is letting you know that the Most High, he does everything. He's moving the pieces on the chessboard. You don't got no free will, Ak. While Akwathian, you ain't got no free will. The Most High, everything has been written. All right. Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh hath not done it? We just read that in the accounts, man. The Most High will send forth evil spirits to bring forth wrath, his judgment, righteously. All right. Now, with that, it's your brother Nehemiah, Ak Nehemiah from Nations and Kings and Priests, No Cap Cali section. I got to head into this plantation. All right. I hope you brothers and sisters was edified. You Akim Wa Akwath Yun was edified in this video. It's quick, it's simple, it's the milk, something that's easily understood. Shalom.